Okay, one other thing that we sort of alluded to last week, but I want to really um, double down on this week, is why Love Actually is the greatest Christmas movie of all time. For adults. For adults? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I will say, I think that Klaus is the best Christmas movie for, like, families. That, I have to say that was a surprising hit to me. Yeah, it was good. Like, yeah, it was good. Surprisingly and good. And, you know, out of all of them, that was the one that I was like, I got to watch that this year. We've got this sort of Christmas afterglow for a week mm -hmm. in between Christmas and New Year's. Right, right. Well, so you, long as it's December, it's Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I will still listen to Santa Claus is Coming <laughs> to Town after he's come to town. Right. You, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about Love Actually a little bit. Now, by the way, it's on Netflix until the 31st, so you can enjoy it during that nice Christmas afterglow. It's got 11 different storylines. The reason Which it's so feels good- Which like, that seems like it should be too many. Like we sort of mentioned earlier when we were talking about Temple Mount, mm -hmm. shouldn't it all be about love? It's all about love. Right. You hear people on their deathbed saying, it's all about love. Don't right. get that twisted or confused. It's all about love. Right. And love actually is about- I don't know if it's about 11 different types of love, but it's about unrequited love. It's about love that spans language mm -hmm. and countries yeah. and race. Uh huh. And it's love for those who've passed and those who might be. Yes. Social status, love. Yeah. Uh, yeah love for long lost loved ones. Yeah. Even lust. Yeah. It has some <laughs> lust in there. Which is, I in would say, in a fun, sexy way. I would say it's a component of. Love. Yeah, some and, love at least. And the lust isn't between the two porno stand-ins. <laughs> right. That's a, not porn stars. Right. Stand-ins while they're checking yeah. the white balance and the lighting. Yeah. These two people are together during these <laughs> completely nude scenes. <laughs> and But their love story perhaps is the most tender. It is. Remember to my point earlier this year about teenage summer mischief movies. Yeah. When you get past all the ribaldry. You're right. And and the um Well, and maybe also part of our point with uh uh naked naked attraction. Yes, when you get past that, when you address that all up front, then the rest is really sweet and sentimental. It is, it is. And that's why I love actually is the greatest Christmas movie of all time. I have another point hmm. to also prove why it is. So one thing that I really like about it as a Christmas movie, especially as an adult, is that it doesn't really feel like a Christmas movie for at least the very first part. Right. Until until the characters start to choose to do things in the name of Christmas, you know, because it's Christmas. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, when you're a kid, okay, all of the adults are making the Christmas magic for you. You don't have to do shit. <laughs> right. But when you're an adult... And you're the one making the Christmas magic. It doesn't feel that magical. It doesn't feel like Christmas until you choose to do something in the name of Christmas. You choose to have your little family Christmas competitions or make a nice meal and sit down with the people that you love or give gifts to those that you care about. Do you, do you remember those little, it feels like Christmas <laughs> right, yes. vignettes on the uh -huh. radio with uh, yeah. Gip Forster? How did I bust that out? <laughs> I always thought they were way too... I always thought they weren't music. Right. Not to be a consultant too much radio stations, but yeah, remember... Yeah, for that. When you're a music radio station and you're doing something other than playing music, you're not giving the people what they tuned in for. Right. <laughs> it's, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> How many rants is this episode is that for me? You know what? For such a loving and warm and bright Christmas episode, it's kind <laughs> yeah, of it's a kind little of a hateful. Lot. But right. back to my point about <laughs> Temple Mount, Jesus is the reason for the season, at yeah. least this cycle. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it is, really, mm -hmm. as long as it is. Right. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. At the end of the day, really what we're talking about is the embodiment of love and kindness and mercy. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I do think that this is a time for and mercy. Sweetness. Yeah. And kids playing the drums to get a chick. Right. And, that too. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's he's also- so cute he's at it so too. so cute. Oh, which is so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't say it because I'm not a white woman, but I want to um, eat his face. I know. He's so cute. I, you just want to smush the- out of it. <laughs> you know? like, oh, you little shit. How dare you? How dare you look so cute? See, she can say that. She can totally say that. I can't. White female privilege. <laughs> but yeah. And you know, it's also about 
friendship love. Yes, you know? brotherly love, sibling yeah. love. Yeah, like between uh, Bill and his manager. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, know? yeah. Which, honestly... That's one of my favorites. I kind Kids, of think- buy this festering <laughs> turd of a record so your uncle, <laughs> uncle Billy can have, you know, do cocaine off of Elton John. There's cocaine <laughs> right, again. Right, I know. <laughs> well, you know, it is a white Christmas here. <laughs> <laughs>